everybody, Jason here of Ghostbusters News, and last Wednesday was National Twinkie Day. It's like a second Christmas for some of us. As well, last week here on the Ghostbusters News YouTube channel, we were talking about Hostess Twinkies, as the long-awaited Ghostbusters Afterlife Twinkies, they're finally getting released, albeit without the Ghostbusters branding. So being that there is no Ghostbusters licensed Twinkies on the horizon, and also as a late celebration of National Twinkie Day, I thought I'd cook up something really special here today. In fact, I'm going to make up something on the fly here. How does deep fried Slimer Twinkies sound? I mean, it sounds probably pretty disgusting for a lot of you, but I can't wait. So let's head on over to the Ghostbusters News Kitchen and bake up some treats today. Okay, so first off, we are gonna have to make the batter for our deep fried Twinkies. First up, we're gonna throw in a half a cup of milk. I'm using 1%. After that, we've got one tablespoon of vinegar, and then one tablespoon of vegetable oil. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move this to the side and bring in our dry ingredients. First, we're gonna start off with a half a cup of flour. And then we've got one teaspoon of baking powder, followed by a half a teaspoon of salt. Now from there, we're gonna go ahead and mix everything up thoroughly together. Oh, and I almost forgot, before combining everything together, be sure to mix up your wet ingredients as well. So go ahead and mix your dry ingredients with your wet. And once again, this is gonna give us our batter. However, for it to be a Slimer Twinkie, it has to be green, right? So of course, we need one more very important ingredient, and that is some green liquid food coloring. And how much you put in, it is gonna be up to you. You can go light green, dark green, try and replicate the color of high C Ecto Cooler if you want to. But first, I added about five drops, stirred it, add some more, stirred it, add some more, until I got this color. Now it is time to bring in the star of the attraction, of course, Hostess Twinkies. Now there's not too much you need to do to prepare these. All I'd recommend is throwing them into the freezer the night before. That way they're nice and hard and they're not gonna fall apart when they're deep fried. Now let's go ahead and unbox these. The amount of batter that this recipe makes should be good for about five to six Twinkies. And because this is a deep fried Slimer Twinkie, I wanna make it a spectacle. And when I think of Twinkies and spectacles, I think of fairs. And at fairs, everything is on a stick, right? Which means our deep fried Slimer Twinkies also have to be on a stick. But of course, this is totally optional. You don't have to do this. Now after that, it is time to lather your Twinkie up full of green ectoplasm. I mean, it's not ectoplasm, but it kind of looks like it, right? Be sure to use a spoon or any utensil that you need to make sure it is fully 100% coated. And after that, it is finally time to deep fry. Now I probably should have used a larger pot, as I could have easily held onto the stick and fried it that way, but I just went ahead and threw everything in, stick and all. Just remembering to flip it around after 30 seconds or so. And here it is right out of the deep fryer. I mean, I love the way this looks. It looks like a green Twinkie, which also kind of looks a little bit like a pickle. Now out of the batch I made, this was no doubt the best looking one, but also I want to show you the worst. As I kind of feel like this one here looks a little bit like Slimer. You got the head, the big back fat roll, and that big bulbous butt. Oh, an important safety tip, be sure to keep an eye on these when they're frying so you don't over fry like I did with this one. Now I was just gonna end it at that, but I think we're gonna make up a glaze. And not just any glaze, but a marshmallow glaze. Right now we have a quarter cup of butter melting in a frying pan, and then we're gonna add in one cup of miniature marshmallows. Oh, hi there, helpful tip for you. If you're making this recipe at home, be sure to use Stay Puffed branded marshmallows from Campfire. They're the best marshmallows in the world. And I'm not just saying that because they're Ghostbusters. They're really good. Go ahead and stir it around until it's all nice and melted. And then we're gonna take it out of the pan and into a bowl, adding in one cup of powdered sugar and then a bit of milk. The more milk you put in, the thinner the glaze. If you put in a little too much milk, that's okay. You can always add in a bit of powdered sugar to help thicken it up again. And you know what? I kind of like the consistency here. I don't really know about the consistency mixed with that color. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of that liquid food coloring again, add that into the glaze here, and I'm gonna start off with five drops, but we'll likely add more until I get my desired color. Now, right now on this cooling rack, we've got the best looking Twinkie on the left-hand side and that bulbous nasty Slimer Twinkie on the right. And it is time to apply the glaze, and you can do this a couple different ways. 
At first, I thought I was gonna do just like a drizzle. You know, have this cool line zigzag effect. You know, make it look kind of fancy. But then I thought, you know what, Slimer, he isn't fancy. These are green deep fried Slimer Twinkies. They've gotta look disgusting. So I then decided just to pour all the glaze over top of them. And the result is, well, this. It looks absolutely disgusting, which to me, if it's a food item inspired by Slimer, that's only fitting. Now I'm gonna go ahead and let this settle on the cooling rack, and I will see you back in the collection room. Look at it, just look at it. Look how beautiful it is. Once again, a deep fried Slimer Twinkie with mini puffed marshmallow glaze. I, I can't wait to eat this thing. So yeah, I think it's finally time. Let me go ahead and take a bite of this. <laughs> oh man! So it is a deep fried Twinkie once again, marshmallow glaze. There is no way this was not going to be good. I just wasn't prepared for how good it is. I mean, mm, like legit the best incarnation of a Twinkie I have ever had. 10 out of 10 would recommend you need to try this. And if you want to try this, uh, we got the full recipe up on ghostbustersnews.com. Link to it down below in the description. So I think I'm going to end the video here because I cannot wait to uh, finish this off. As always, be sure to subscribe to Ghostbusters News here on YouTube. Bust that bell notification icon to stay up to date with everything that's happening within the Ghostbusters world. If you'd like to join up with Ghostbusters News, check out our Patreon page. We have a link to that down below in this video's description. And I'll see everybody right back here next time.